Hi, I'm Charlotte Wakefield. Uh, I play Sophie here at the Novello Theatre in Mamma Mia. I'm here to give you a little bit of a backstage tour and show you some of our props, our costumes, and all the things that make Mamma Mia the show it is. Mamma Mia! As anyone who's seen the show will know, and if you haven't then I'll tell you, uh, the entire show really revolves around this diary. I actually, in rehearsals, with the help of uh, other cast members, wrote the diary. And uh, in here there's all the passages that I used during the show. And um, yeah, it kind of uh, fuels the beginning of the show, and it's what you learn about throughout the show and it all kind of unravels, it's very interesting. Uh, as you can see I'm sat on a bed. We have two of these beds in the show. We've got one here and one over there, which is a smaller one. They wheel it on, wheel it off, move it around, it all spins, it's all very exciting. We also have one of the prop microphones, which we use uh, during the finale. They are encrusted with diamante, which is uh, very in keeping with the feeling of the show. I'll also show you uh, this guitar. This is uh, Donna's guitar, which during the show, uh, we find out that Harry, one of the possible Sophie fathers, bought her for 10 quid and his Johnny Rotten t-shirt. It's also mentioned that it's uh, inscribed with Donna Sheridan and HB, Harry Bright or Headbanger. Okay, so next I'm gonna take you over to Ruth, who is our head of wardrobe here at Mamma Mia, and she's gonna tell you a little bit more about the costumes that we use during the show. Hi, so here are a selection of some of the Dynamo's Super Trooper costumes. And these are the most state-of-the-art costumes that we have in the show. They've evolved over the whole 14 years of the show running into what is now as close to perfect as it could be. So all of them have different designs that are specific to each character. And this one is the Donna one, so it ends up having the flare sleeves. All the stones are individually sewn on by hand by a team of feeders. There's Trotsky crystals and acrylic stars. So this one, the Rosie costume, this whole cape Bit, which is made out of the pleated fabric again. And we come on to this one again. The belts are all done up in the same way. They have a quick Velcro at the back. All the legs have to be pulled down. When you put on a Lycra costume, it tends to stick and stick to your body. And at the end of the show, the dynamos are really hot and sweaty. It takes a lot of manoeuvring to get a Lycra onto a, a hot, sweaty body in a hurry, in about 30 seconds for a change. So I have to say, I was a huge ABBA fan as a child. Um, I got my first ABBA Gold CD when I was six years old from my dad, who is also a big ABBA fan, and um, it's just kind of really cool to be able to sing it every night. Mm -hmm. 